Welcome to AI Money Multiplier. Are you ready to unlock the magic of turning words into jaw-dropping, lifelike images? Well, you're in for a treat, because today I'm about to unveil the secrets of the ultimate AI image generator, Midjourney. Picture this, with just a simple text prompt, Midjourney can craft images that will leave you and your audience amazed. But wait, there's more. In this video, I'm not only going to show you how to set up and use Midjourney, but also take you on a journey to discover some advanced techniques that will take your creations to the next level. Now, I know what you might be thinking. This sounds complex, but don't worry, my friends. I'm here to simplify the entire process for you. Unlike those traditional websites, Midjourney operates right within the Discord platform. So, let's dive in and make some magic together. Step 1. Head over to Discord.com and either sign in or create your Discord account if you don't already have one. Discord is where the mid-journey magic happens, and you can either grab the Discord app on your computer or use it right in your web browser. Step 2. Once you're logged into Discord, navigate to the Explore Public Servers section and search for the mid-journey server. You can join this server and it's open to anyone interested. Click the Join button when you find the mid-journey server. Step 3. After joining the mid-journey server, you'll land on its homepage. Next, you need to create a mid-journey account. Keep in mind that, as of now, Midjourney requires a subscription plan to create images. Visit midjourney.com to sign in and purchase your plan. You can choose between monthly and yearly subscription options. Now that you're subscribed and ready to use Midjourney, you can access it through the newbie channels within Discord. These channels are labeled as newbie, and all you have to do is type slash imagine followed by your prompt to initiate the image creation process. Your creations can be viewed by others in these channels. Alternatively, you can have a private interaction with the Midjourney chatbot. To do this, simply locate the chatbot labeled as Midjourney Bot and initiate a direct message with it. You can find the chatbot by clicking the direct message icon if you're unfamiliar with Discord. From there, all that's left is to type Imagine and input your desired prompt. In my case, I'll request an image depiction of the coconut trees. I'll also demonstrate some advanced settings shortly. After hitting enter, you may need to wait a bit for the image creation process to complete. Keep in mind that the processing speed may vary depending on your subscription level. Expensive plans will typically provide faster results. Finally, here's the resulting image. I have the option to click on it and view the various images it generates. Each time it produces four different images for preview. Right here, you'll find multiple options labeled as V1, V2, V3, and V4, indicating different versions. For instance, if I select V1, it will generate four distinct variations of V1. By clicking U1, I can access an upresolved version of the image and then proceed to download it. This is essentially an enhanced version. When I mentioned V4, it creates four new images based on the initial selection, essentially variations of the first one. U1 boosts image quality and allows you to download the improved image. Just click U1 and it will provide a link to download the enhanced picture. With V4, you get four new images that resemble the original. You can also make more changes if you want. You can download these images by choosing one, two, three, or four. The V version lets you get four new variations for each image, giving you more options. Furthermore, you can still introduce variations even after upscaling by selecting the Make Variation option. This action will yield similar results to what I demonstrated earlier. If you are satisfied with the result, you can access the image on a website by clicking on it. This will redirect you to the Midjourney website, where you can save the image directly to your computer. The image will be saved in high-resolution PNG format, provided you initially upscaled it using the U option, specifically U1 in this case. Before we continue, Let's take a quick moment to subscribe to the channel down below in the bottom right-hand corner so you never miss another money-making opportunity again. Okay, now let's explore how to elevate your prompts. Midjourney has a resource page that provides guidelines for crafting effective prompts. First, you should start by specifying a subject. This should be the initial step. Then provide details about the surroundings. After that, indicate the desired style and the type of media you want. You can also include some additional parameters to enhance the result. These parameters offer customization options. Let me demonstrate this example to illustrate what it generates. Here's the output I received based on that prompt. You'll notice that the more specific your instructions are, the more tailored the result will be. In this instance, I didn't request hyperrealism, so the output resembles a painting. 
However, you can achieve various variations, from paintings to realistic photos. Here's another version where my prompt was for a hyper-realistic photo of two penguins playing with the sea lions. I also added some parameters like 4K resolution and a hyper-realistic style of 5.2. These are the resulting images. I then selected my favorite and further refined it to produce an image like this. Once you're satisfied, you can upscale it and download it on mid-journey. Additionally, there's one more thing to note. If you type slash settings, it will display the settings prompt. Press enter and you'll see various options. By default, it uses the latest version of mid-journey, which in this case is 5.2. However, you can choose different versions, including previous ones for comparison. Typically, it's recommended to use the latest version. The raw mode is a powerful feature, although it's more advanced for this training. You can adjust the style level here. Now it's worth noting that while we're having these conversations right here in the chatbot, they are still publicly visible on the Midjourney website. To ensure absolute privacy, allowing only Midjourney staff access, you'll need to follow their policies and upgrade to a plan that provides a private option. Unfortunately, the plan used in this tutorial doesn't offer that level of privacy, so our conversation remains within this secure Midjourney bot offering a higher degree of protection compared to public channels. But if maintaining complete confidentiality is paramount for your projects, make sure to choose a plan that supports this. Wow, what an incredible journey we've been on today, unlocking the boundless potential of mid-journey. Can you believe the magic of turning plain text into jaw-dropping, lifelike images is at your fingertips? If you haven't already, go try mid-journey and share your creations down in the comments. I would love to hear what you're making, and if you want to share your prompts, feel free. Thank you so much for joining us today on AI Money Multiplier. We hope you found this video informative, engaging, and inspiring. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you never miss another money-making opportunity again. Remember, with determination and the right knowledge, you have the power to turn your online ventures into lucrative realities. Stay motivated, stay informed, and let's make those online money-making dreams come true.